What's up guys? I figured I would show you what I'm making for dinner. Um, I'm making like a little pizza type deal, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically I have these, I made, um, I made, I took out some crescent rolls, which I already threw away the pack. Um, and I just laid it out. I didn't separate them at all. And I just tried to like mend together the little like separations. Um, so hopefully that's good enough. And then I actually have a box over here. Oops. So these are the crescent rolls that I used. Um, it's a two pack so I can make another one later. Um, but yeah, so I took that and I think if you buy the bigger roll, like if I used both of them, I could make a bigger pizza, but it's actually probably good that I use a smaller one because this is perfect for me and I probably won't even eat the whole thing, which is good because the macros for the whole thing are probably like a ridiculous 16 servings per roll. So yeah, probably good to not eat the whole thing. Um, anyway, I'm going to put some vegetables on top and I'm going to use some cream cheese for the um, sauce or like, if you want to call it that, it's not going to be like um, pizza sauce, it's going to be more of a like cream cheese, obviously, um, like spread. So it's not going to be like a pizza pizza, but it's like a veggie pizza. So I'm going to make that, I'll show you the sauce when I, or the sauce, this topping I guess I should say, when I put it all together and yeah, I'm just going to leave it in the oven for like 10 minutes and see how it goes. Okay guys, so my pizza is, or my crust is out of the oven. Um, my oven is kind of old, so basically like the outside cooks way faster than the inside, so it's still going to be kind of like doughy, which is fine, because um, I lifted it up, and it looks like the crust is like ready, but then when you look at it, I don't know, actually it looks okay, but the middle is definitely like doughier. Anyway. I have my vegetables chopped up over here. I have some zucchini cut up, some carrots, and some green peppers. Um, I would have done the other, like I would have done red and yellow peppers as well, but they were kind of expensive the last time I went to the grocery store, so I just got green. And I got spinach I'm gonna throw on. And what else? I think that's all the vegetables I'm gonna do. I have some cucumber I might do as well. Um, I would do broccoli, but the broccoli I have is frozen, so that's why I don't have broccoli. And I do have some, like, ground turkey. I don't know what kind of meat I want to put on if I want to put meat on. Um, I would put chicken, but my chicken is frozen. I didn't really plan this out very well, but that's why I have another crescent roll to make another one if I want to. But this is my mixture, and it's just, um, a package of cream cheese. It's the third less fat cream cheese and then I have dill weed, onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of Greek yogurt. Someone used um, mayonnaise in their recipe but I don't have any mayonnaise. I don't really use mayonnaise. So just to make it a little bit easier to spread I added Greek yogurt. I haven't even tasted it yet. Maybe I should taste it guys. It's really good. Um, so all I'm going to do is spread that on and put all my toppings on and that's really it guys. Um, Nothing fancy. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done, but it's really just something kind of to treat myself um, while also getting some micronutrients. I don't really get a lot of veggies because I don't like salads. I'll eat them for the purpose of eating healthy, but I don't really enjoy them. But that I would definitely enjoy, even though it's a lot of carbs. I don't really care right now. It's I haven't really eaten much today. Uh, I don't know if that's accurate, but I'm going to eat it because I want to and I'm not really cutting strictly anymore. I have my lake trip coming up, which I know I'm going to regret not cutting for, but it's with my family, so I really don't care. My boyfriend's going to be there and whatever. I'll probably regret it, but anyway. I'm going to eat this. I am so excited. And I shouldn't be like that. Like, I, that's when it gets, like, unhealthy, where you don't eat things because you're so worried about that. And unless you're cutting for, like, a competition, I don't think you should. Look at my shoulder, guys. Um, I don't think you should be that strict on yourself. So if you want to try new recipes, try them. Maybe don't eat the whole pizza. Maybe eat half of it. So maybe I'm going to eat half. <sighs> But I'm going to try not to eat the whole thing. Yep, because then I can have the other half tomorrow. Ugh, that's the hardest thing for me is when I make stuff, not eating all of it. I'm going to put it together. I'm going crazy. 
so I'll show you what it looks like when it's all put together and done. Okay guys, it's all done. I wanted to show you. Okay, so that's my pizza. It's kind of like overflowing with toppings right now. There we go. Um, I put a lot of toppings on it, but that's okay. I put tons of spinach on the bottom, some zucchini, green pepper, and carrots. I would typically put more on something like this, but I'm glad I didn't because honestly, there's a lot on there right now. So I'm going to go eat this. Um, thumbs up if you want more recipes like this or what I eat typically. And yeah, have a good night, guys. Pause. Thank you, but that pizza was incredible. So I am so full and I didn't even eat half like I thought. I honestly thought that I was going to like eat the whole thing and feel terrible about myself. But I ate a fourth of it. Like, couldn't even eat half. And I'm actually pretty proud because I got the idea from Kelly Loves Beauty. And this was like a long time ago that she made that video. And I was like, I'm going to do it because I've been like re-watching all of her old vlogs because I'm so sad. Um, but she made it. And she's like a really thin, really pretty, like fit girl. Doesn't even have to try. And... I think she was talking about how she ate like half of it or something and I was like oh if she can eat that I can probably eat the whole thing and I couldn't even eat a fourth of it so it pays to put tons of veggies on something because they're so filling and yet so low in calories so really full and then I did have an ice cream so but it was like one of those Yasuo um, frozen Greek yogurt ones which are only like 100 calories I'm pretty sure or less I don't remember they're very good. So I'm going to go through this like stack of paper that I have here. And I actually printed out two little like ebooks, one about anxiety and one about depression. And they're both like little guides. And one, I wanted to read them for school and kind of get another perspective on them because I don't take the DSM class, which is offered, but I'm not going to take it because I can't fit it into my plan. But I do want to learn a little bit more about certain diagnoses um, and certain disorders, especially ones that relate to me, and those two relate to me very well. So um, if I didn't already mention that in, on this channel, but I learned to read through those mostly for myself, but it's kind of weird to say that to YouTube, but mostly for myself and also partially because I'm a counselor. I'm going to be a counselor. So I have two minutes. On my camera. So I'm going to read through those and I was wondering if you guys would want me to talk about those two things or maybe these two ebooks on my channel if you guys want me to make a video. I was thinking about some things that other people might be interested in hearing about rather or um, other than fitness and health and working out and stuff because I do want this to have a different type of um, I want this to be a different type of channel because everyone does videos about health and fitness and working out and I want this to be a little bit different and have a different component and for me I think I could use that um, mental health degree that I'm going to have and I have already a psych degree and I'm going to have a mental health degree and I want to use that for the better and I want to help people with that. Um, I am not a licensed psychologist or therapist or anything like that. Um, so you can take what I say with a grain of salt and, you know, you need to see someone who's really qualified if you want to get diagnosed with something. But I just wanted to see if you guys would be interested in me actually talking about that. So let me know if you would be interested and my camera's about to die, not die, be full. So I'm going to hop off here and hopefully upload some of this to my computer. So I just want to share that with you guys and yeah, have a good night.